My name is Jennifer Catullis and I'm the nominated supervisor and ECT at Kids and Co Preschool Hurstville Grove. It's an inclusive service for 25 children each day. We are operating from Tuesday to Friday and we work with a lot of diverse families, culturally and linguistically diverse. So our job involves interactions with families, with children and educators and also with the local community. Where would you see some of these things here? What are these? What's this called? Pizza. A pizza. So where would you see it? Today's learning intention was selected from observations of children playing in the home corner and using the resources that we have that were aligned with the uh, concept of pizzas, as well as children meal boxes that they had brought in pizzas in their boxes, as well as children sharing just spontaneous conversations about their pizza making experiences with their family at home. The learning story started with a child that was very interested in healthy options and it was a comment from another child regarding everyday food that sparked my interest in reaching further from a cultural perspective and so that's where it informed today's practice and also looking at ways as children grow at this developmental stage to look to others as peers rather than individuals. I'd like you to pick up a piece of pizza and tell me one piece of pizza that is a half a piece of pizza. Today, somebody else here has the other half. So I'd like you to put your half pizza down back onto the mat and look around to the other pizza pieces. Now, if you can see your other half, can you stand up and sit next to them? My approach to engage children in their learning is through the observation and understanding that I have of them. Today I was hoping that they would come out of their comfort zone and they would look to other students as a peer. So for example, where we had the half pizzas that were all different patterns, it was an opportunity for those children who ordinarily would like to sit next to their friend, had that opportunity they could actually sit with somebody and it was really pleasing to see that it wasn't done with apprehension, it was done with uh, connection. When we greet somebody, what can we say to them when they walk in the door? It's morning time, so we can say, Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Okay, you ready? So when they walk inside, you can say, Buongiorno, here they come. The method I use to find out what children have learnt, whether it be individually or collectively, is actually to engage with families, to talk about their experiences at home and to talk about children's interests. And from those experiences, that's when I start to understand how I need to approach my next learning experience. So for example, when children make a comment and I'll ask a parent, oh, have you heard that before? And they say, oh yes, that came about from this scenario. That's when I start to see the connection between here and home and that realistic uh, concept of the experience being authentic and organic and I see that as a, as a premise for yes a great learning experience ahead. To know that these lessons are successful is when the children are engaged in the activities and their interest is sustained. It's not so much sustained just by my direction but it's sustained by each of their questions and their interests and their uh, active participation. Have you heard of the word bon appetito? Uh, no, I haven't. What does, ah, that, what does that mean? Maybe we need to uh, ask. Well, what does that mean? Oh, we need to eat. Oh, wow, we'll have to practice that at home, won't we? For me to build on this learning experience, I'll look again back to the children's interests and back to their capabilities. So for example, seeing today's session um, end with the families and the interactions, I think I would absolutely love to have an activity where we could involve more people and, and maybe create an event at the service where we can celebrate a festival that's coming up and uh, make it a whole community experience. When I have my professional learning grow in a goal that I am interested in, and then I see it in practice, I actually start to feel that sense of affirmation that, okay, yes, I'm on the right path. When I see children who are engaging in the activity and are not needing me as much for direction, but can look to their peers for that support, and I can be that facilitator, that's an amazing moment. And that's where I feel that satisfaction that my learning has supported my pedagogy.